the, uh, I guess the allure of it is, are the mountains and the, the snow on top and um, it's just peaceful and I guess we both love the mountains and it's just a nice place to be. And we've come up to Whistler a whole bunch but when we came to Pemberton it was just, this is it, this is where we wanted to be. Apparently hard to get Indians to tell you things. So my mom had been emailing the folks in India for a while and not getting much response. But um, finally, one of her friends in Chicago gave us a template of stuff. And then one of her, my dad's uncles, I think, gave us more information. And so my mom basically put it together and my sister turned it into kind of a ceremony thing. <laughs> Before the sacred fire. Before the sacred fire. Ayurvedic Sangupta. Ayurvedic Sangupta. Son of Ganapati Sangupta. Son of Ganapati Sangupta. And Elizabeth Ellen Sangupta. And Elizabeth Ellen Sangupta. Ask for the blessings. Ask for the blessings. Of my father and mother. Of my father and mother. <laughs> Let these garlands signify goodwill and virtue by placing your garland on one another. You are conceding mutual compatibility and vowing to make up for the shortcomings of the other. The first step, may you be blessed with abundance of food. Second step, may you be blessed with strength. Third step, may you be blessed with plentiful resources. Fourth step, may you find eternal pleasure in each other. Fifth step, may communication between you always be open, truthful and with empathy. Sixth step, may you be blessed with faithful, open, and playful intimacy. Seventh step, may you always act in partnership and be the best of friends. Yabidang. Yabidang. Kridayang. Kridayang. Mama. Mama. From now onwards. From now onwards. My heart. My heart and your heart. And your heart are together. Are together. So, um... She's holding an oil lamp, incense, honey, and other items. And so she's going to swing it around Ritik and Karin three times. Mm -hmm. And then touch it to their forehead for good thoughts, their chests for love and good wishes, and Adam abdomens for progeny. Ow. And then she will put a dab of honey on Ritik and Karin's earlobes so they will hear and speak only sweet words. <laughs> You just invalidated everything we have to start over. <laughs> Well, apparently we met playing frisbee, <laughs> and I, my team and his team went out to eat after our game. And the other team had this amazing woman on it. She was smooth, and she glided across the field. She has incredible throws. She poached the lane and shut down the events, and she was incredibly gorgeous. She was impossible not to notice. So, of course, Ratik did. Normally, right after, Ritik is all excited to go home and shower up and do something else. But when the other team asked us if we wanted to go along and have a drink with them afterwards, Ritik's like, yes, we're going. In retrospect, I remember Wolf and someone else giggling <laughs> and giggling and giggling over this uh, napkin they were drawing um, figures on. I was, I was waiting for Ritik to make his move, but he's, he's crafty and subtle, that one. Ritik and I, Ritik made his move by spending most of the time with me diagramming logos for our upcoming Ultimate Team. And giggling at them. <laughs> it seemed at first that there would be two ships passing in the night and they would never be, seen, never be seen again. But then we needed some more women for our team and Krista picked a random person off the net. I had just moved to Seattle and I wanted to find a team to play Frisbee on. And I posted on our internet anonymously on our on our um, forum for the for the league, and I got an email from this girl, and she asked me what my uh, 
experience level was and where I'd played before. And I wrote back that I had played in this tournament and that tournament and I'd played in this city and that city and I, the girl had forwarded it to, to Ratik because he was the captain of the team and he said, <laughs> he wrote back and said. I said um, something to the effect of skills mills why don't they say anything useful like I'm hot and single. <laughs> <laughs> We who are gathered here rejoice with them in the new life they now undertake together. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kiddushanu B'Mitzvotav V'Tivanu L'Hadik Ner Shel Yom Tov Amen. Ay Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Bore Peri Agafen you can repeat this more easily. <laughs> Be thou wedded unto me with this ring. Be thou wedded unto me with this ring. With an abiding love. With an abiding love. It was Father's Day shortly after we met, and you arrived at my door, wearing a suit and carrying a bunch of flowers. You said to me, I know Father's Day can be hard, so I wanted to bring these to brighten your day. You've always known what to say when I'm upset, even if it's just a few words or a great big hug. I admire your kindness. I admire your gentleness and your love of animals, your sense of humor and your patience. Today and for all other days, I promise to share my thoughts and dreams with you. I promise to care for you through anything we encounter, and I promise to love you. You not only tolerate the many ways in which I am odd, but you can also embrace them. You help me with my faults and enhance my strengths. Today and for all days, I promise to share my thoughts and dreams with you. I promise to care for you if there anything we encounter. I promise to love you forever. Okay, so we are now at the uh, Seven Brocha. There's a little ad lib back here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe you. No! Smart. Very good. Pratik and Karen, having witnessed your vows for marriage with all who are assembled here, I announce with great joy that you are husband and wife. You may now seal your vow with a kiss. <laughs> Friends and family. <laughs> Friends and family, it's my honor to present to you, for the first time as husband and wife, Karen and Pratik Sengupta. Mazel <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.